the stereotype of an academic or a research scientist is the square with you know your lab coat on and then that's all you're doing is living in the laboratory um, and you know we do enough of that <laughs> but um, you know we also like to in, like to enjoy the other things I'm a trained toxicologist. What we like to study in, in the lab is how these environmental chemicals affect this um, you know, cellular mechanism called oxidative stress. I'm the lab manager. Basically run James's lab um, and primarily involved with training the students and making sure people are generating data um, towards the projects that James has already mentioned. I'm a senior professional research assistant. We would use mass spec, uh, mass spectrometry to study proteins, that's called proteomics, and then also study small molecules. So we're using mass spec to quantify and study molecules in food. I've always been, you know, interested in music and, and interested in, you know, playing an instrument, but never had sort of the courage to get up and do it. Finally made the big jump to get an instrument, learned a little bit about where the notes were, and then got a four-string bass guitar. And so from there we could then play together and John was able to teach me some, some songs and you know we just kind of progressed from there. I showed him kind of just like the, the framework of how to play the bass and Within, I mean, hell, within the first day, we were already playing multiple songs together. I had been playing music for a while in my life. Uh, I kind of switched to keyboard later in my life. So we started talking about playing together, and, uh, and he just asked me to join the band again. Um, so I started playing with them, and it was nice. One day over at Ursula Brewery, my girlfriend introduced me to our drummer, Darcy, so me and him started playing music together, uh, just a one-off, one time, and he was just like, well, I think you and me could do a show together. I was like, well, I have a bass player and a keyboard player. And then from there, we turned it into what it is now. The band started, I think, sometime in uh, 2021, um, where John and I, as a way to kind of get away from the doldrums of the pandemic life. <laughs> my aunts, my cousins, their kids, all my nieces all call me Uncle Beef. So it's also a play on being a Grateful Dead fan. One of their oldest songs is called Uncle John's Band. My name is John. And since it was Uncle Beef, I was like, oh, well, we play Grateful Dead songs. I love Grateful Dead, so Uncle Beef's band is just kind of what we just started playing with, and then James started making stickers and all kinds of things, and it just kind of stuck. Like, for me, it's always been one of the things when it comes to playing music is it's it's a it's a stress reliever it just makes everything kind of melt away and you don't have to think about anything else that's going on in the world other than the next chord the next note the next lyric and that's it so that's what i've always loved about playing music and then getting these other people in here in the mix just makes it that much better you know you hear about people um, you know if you learn to play an instrument you know you, you can develop your brain in a different kind of way and become say smarter in some other kind of way and so I was trying to use that you know to, to hopefully improve my my research and and that kind of stuff here and, and actually it's done it's done even more than I would ever hope for I feel like this band is an opportunity for our school and, and not just for the School of Pharmacy, but for the university community. So I think this is a, a, a unique opportunity for uh, a community kind of building event, you know, to, to rally around and to kind of bring pa people back together from the pandemic when we were all apart.
That's the amazing Matt Mitchell there. He's in the finest.